Hi, my name is Laura and I'm a studio intern at the Ottawa Art Gallery. Today I would like to share with you a fun activity that you would find at the Canada Life OAG Art Tent. Until we're back in your community, this is something that you can do at home as well. Today I'll be showing you how to turn simple paper fortune tellers into fun animal puppets. This craft is inspired by Russell Uresty's exhibition at the Ottawa Art Gallery, The Inside of Elephants and All Kinds of Things. This show is largely composed of whimsical sketches and sculptures of animals that Uresty created in between the 70s and the 90s. You can play with animals like an artist too! Here's what the final product looks like, so let's begin. You'll need the following materials for this project. Origami paper or construction paper. Markers. A pencil scissors, and glue or double-sided tape. If you're using paper that's not in the shape of a square, you're going to want to fold one side of the paper over until it makes the shape of a triangle like so. Then use your scissors to cut off the extra paper. If you started with a square of paper, you're going to want to fold it over diagonally to make a triangle. Now fold it once again to make a smaller triangle. Then unfold the paper completely. Fold the four corners into the center. Then turn the sheet over. Fold these four corners into the center again. Now fold the paper in half twice to make a square, and unfold once to make a rectangle. Slide your fingers into the four pockets and open up the fortune teller. Optionally, you can glue or tape the two upper and two lower quadrants together like this. And with that, you're finished your base. From here, I'll turn my fortune teller into a panda, but feel free to get creative and make your own design. To make a panda, I'm first going to start by cutting out two large pieces of black construction paper in this shape, sort of like an egg. If you don't have black construction paper, you can just draw with a black marker instead. Next, to make the eyes, I'm going to cut out the same shape but smaller onto a piece of white paper. Then draw a small circle on each eye for the pupils. Then I'm just taping these two pieces together and then putting them onto the puppet. For the ears, I'm going to cut out two circles of black paper. And I just folded down the edge, and now I'm going to take a small strip of double sided tape and tape those onto the head. For the nose, I'm going to cut out a circle of black construction paper. Then I lightly fold it over where I want to place it on the puppet and cut along that fold, making sure not to cut all the way down the middle. I then place the paper on the puppet and fold the upper half of where I cut the paper over the bottom and then glue that into place. Then I just glue the entire nose onto the puppet. To make the tongue, cut out a long strip of pink or red construction paper with one rounded end. To make the tongue bend downwards, I just rounded it around a pencil like this. Now just tape that onto the puppet. I 
found my tongue ended up being a little bit long, so I trimmed it down, but it's completely up to you. Finally, I'm making some bamboo leaves by cutting out two long pieces of green construction paper in the shapes of leaves. Now I'm just using a light green marker to draw down the middle of the leaf. And I'm just gluing it all together. And there you have it, a paper panda puppet. If you create more than one puppet, you can put on a puppet show. The only limit is your imagination. We'd love it if you shared your creations with us with the hashtag OIG from home. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun and learned something new.